All right, welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today I'm going to do something you might have seen these already on other people's videos. It's called pork wings, and it's by Porter Road. That's what they look like. What a pork wing is, that is from the shank area. They basically split it. They remove the main bone and leave that little secondary bone. And I don't really see the bone on this, but it's supposed to have a bone to where you kind of hold it like a lollipop. It opens up like a set of wings. And that's what we got. And that's what I love about Porter Road. Porter Road, you can source things like this that you just can't find many other places. You can find them in some places, but they're kind of far, far and few in between, if you know what I'm saying. So check out Porter Road. This is just one of the few off cuts that they have. They have pork necks, they have pork brisket. They have a lot of cuts like that. Plus, they have a lot of more of your mainstream type cuts like brisket, pork butt, pork ribs, beef ribs, all that. They have everything. And they're actually well priced for an online meat purveyor. And I don't know what their shipping rates are currently. The last I looked is if you spent like $110, you'll get free shipping. And I think you know as well as I do, if you spend $110 on meat, it was an easy task. It's not hard to do nowadays. So check them out. I'll have links in the description box and uh, use my link to access that. It'll help me out a little bit also. I tell you what, that's some tough packaging they put these in too. And yeah, there's the bone there. Once you start cooking, that meat will shrink back off of the bone and that's when the bone will be exposed. All right, quick wash of the hands and I'm ready to season up. And what I'm using is Meathead's Amazing Smoked Pork Rub. Really good rub. I don't know how many of you know, but I also shoot videos for SNS Grills over at their YouTube channel. And um, if you're not subscribed over there, then please go over there and check it out. It's me, it's Mike Nackney, it's Jeff Rice, it's uh, Greg Marvich, and uh, Jabin Postal. All five creators do create content for the SNS Grills. And I first acquire that from shooting the SNS Grills videos. And I'll tell you what, it's a really good rub. I'm not using a binder on this. Just put a generous amount. They're not super thick. So we're not going to go crazy with it. All right. This hand's clean, so I'm just going to use this hand to dirty up. Let's pick up a little bit here on our sides. Give them a flip. And I'm not going to remove any of any kind of minor silver skin. These have been trimmed up fairly well. And uh, I'm gonna render these down just like you would pork butt. Maybe not quite as tender. I want these to hold together to where you can just bite it off the bone. But it's gonna be right at 200 degrees when I pull these internal temp. All right, that's looking pretty good. I've got my Lone Star Grills pellet grill actually fired up. It takes about 45 minutes for that pit to completely heat up and level out. And that's where I'm at. So these are getting ready to go outdoors on the Lone Star Grills pellet grill. And I'm gonna come right back and I'm gonna show you how to make a fantastic Memphis barbecue sauce. And I'll show you where I got the recipe. I just wanna put my thicker one in the fire pot. Yeah, that makes sense. He's putting the thick ones to the fire pot. And we are smoking. Now he dropped temperature when he opened this, but uh, we're running around 250 degrees. You can see it's the control head. It's gonna fluctuate a little below and a little, little above as it does its thing. That's completely normal with this pit. The barbecue sauce that I'm making, the proper name or what it's called in this book right here is Memphis Mop Barbecue Sauce. It's not a mop, it's not real thin. It is a thick barbecue sauce, but they call it Memphis Mop Barbecue Sauce. And I got it from this book from Ray Sheehan, barbecue sauces and how to use them. I get a barbecue newsletter uh, delivered once a month and I've seen this inside of that newsletter. And this is the same company that you've probably heard of this. 
This is the same guy that come out with the Buddha barbecue sauce. By the way, I'm not being sponsored by this company. I bought and paid for this book. Yeah, right here, Barbecue Buddha Memphis Mop Sauce. It's the same sauce that's in this bottle here. So that's what I'm making, and this is uh, where I'm getting it from. I like to experiment with my own sauces and, and such as that. And be honest with you, this has some very, very similar ingredients to one that I made not that long ago. Close enough to where I know this is gonna be a good sauce, especially on pork. And it has the kind of flavors that we like here in South Mississippi. It has a little sweet, not too much. It's got a little vinegar back in. It's just perfect. So let's get started making it. So the book recommends using this Simply Ketchup by Heinz. And this is only 15 ounces, so two cups is 16 ounces. I'll be missing one ounce, but it's close enough in my opinion. So we're gonna put the entire contents into this pot. Now it calls for one half cup of a yellow prepared mustard. That's the kind of mustard that we typically use here in America on hot dogs, bologna sandwiches, you name it. One half cup of light brown sugar. One half cup of just plain H2O water. One quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Now three tablespoons of a good Worcestershire sauce. I'm using Lee and Perrin's. That's always my go-to. Three tablespoons. Calls for one tablespoon of onion powder. That seems a little heavy to me, but that's what it says. By the way, I haven't made this from the book yet, so I hope it's good. One tablespoon of chili powder, and that is one ingredient that mine did not get. All right, calls for one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. That was a half a teaspoon, so two more. I hope the company doesn't mind me giving out a recipe out of their book. They probably want you to buy it, but just so you know, there is a lot of different sauces in this book very well the price are asking them once again i'm not being sponsored i bought and paid for this as far as i know they don't know me from adam two teaspoons of granulated garlic i would suppose you could use a garlic powder as well they're so similar once again an ingredient that i did not use and this is actually like a secret ingredient not only on a sauce but on a rub it can actually uh, help and like the smoke ring if you're using it in a rub, but it's celery salt. It's kind of powerful, so you don't want to use much of it. Half a teaspoon. And a half teaspoon, I'm using a kosher salt. One last ingredient, I want to talk about this. It says one tablespoon of natural hickory liquid smoke. Now, I know that almost anybody, I'm not going to show the brand, I don't want to get sued, but if the bottle looks familiar, that's liquid smoke that you'll find just about in any supermarket, any store. But the only problem with this liquid smoke is, it's not real liquid smoke. If it's got more than one ingredient, which is a liquid smoke, it's not liquid smoke. It's actually got, I'm trying to find out where it's at in here. It actually says, the ingredient says water, hickory smoke flavor vinegar, molasses, caramel color. That is not real liquid smoke. That, uh, what they're referring to is a natural hickory smoke. So this is a natural hickory smoke. This entire bottle is nothing but a condensed smoke. And what they do is they take a green hickory and they distill it similar to what you would distill to make whiskey from the green smoke. And this is, it, it talks all about it. There is no other ingredients. This is what they're talking about. And this is a very potent and highly condensed liquid here. So you want to use it carefully. If you overpower it, it will not taste good. It will, it will just simply be overpowering. But that's true with smoke in general. It gives it a bitter taste, right? 
So it calls, and let me double check, one tablespoon of this. That's all, one tablespoon. And you're gonna be hard pressed to find any barbecue sauce anywhere that doesn't have that. All natural, completely natural. So I'm gonna give all this a really good mix. We're gonna put it on a stove top and it says to go 25 minutes at a low simmer, just kind of bring all these flavors together. From there, we'll pour it into a container, go in the fridge and let, let it hang out. I predict it's gonna be probably five to six hours on these pork wings. And uh, towards the end, we'll sauce them up with that. Plus we'll have some sauce on the side. All right, these pork wings, hey, they're ready to start spritzing. All I have in here is water, and that's all we're gonna spritz with today. Get it roasted up. Pull back here. Prime up our super dandy spritzer here. I like this thing now. Man. They are getting some beautiful colors on them. And that's all they need. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set the lid to the pellet grill. And I'll come back and spritz them about another 45 minutes from now. All right, our pork wings are getting very close to being done. All right, go ahead and get these pork wings a probe. Oh yeah, 212. And they are probing tender. That was very, very tender. These things are ready for the homemade barbecue sauce that dad made earlier. We're gonna go ahead and get them on, let them go for about 10 to 15 minutes and let that glaze sit up on them. I'm not much of a painter, but hey. Let's get her done anyway. Gonna flip them over here. Nice bark on there. It is, that's pretty color. I cannot wait to bite into one of these. All right, we're gonna let her go for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Just give that sauce time to set. Once that's done, we're gonna pull them and give you a taste test. Well, we are done. It's time to give it a taste. You ready to try this, Derek? Man, that looks You fantastic. know, normally you would just pick this up and just eat it like a chicken wing. But I think that we're just gonna cut some off and try it. What do you think? That'll work. There's a lot of mouths around here wanting to eat on some of it. Yeah. Well, that looks like a good start right there. Look at there, we got a nice little smoke ring. That's a nice smoke ring. Don't know if you can see that or not. Little nugget there. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. That Lone Star's pellet smoker, I'm telling y'all, it's unlike any other pellet grill I've ever used. That joker is the real deal. It's got plenty of smoke on it. And that's what they call an off cut. It's from the shank. So, to me, some of those cuts have the best flavor of any part of the pork. It just does. I'll be honest with you. It's, I mean, it's fantastic. Super tender. But I've got some pork neck about a year ago from Port Rose, and that's what it reminds me of, a lot of that pork neck. What do you think about that sauce, Memphis sauce? Dude, that sauce is killer. It is, ain't it? I'll tell you what else that sauce goes good on, because I did it not long ago, not with that sauce, but one very similar that I made, and that's chicken, just plain up barbecue chicken. Get out of here, fly. One more. Y'all don't forget, you can source this out through Porter Road. Just go to their website, and you'll have pork wings. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm Russ Jones. I'm Derek Jones. We are Smoky Ribs Barbecue.